So Asante Samuel from Florida State. Now, he's a little different. One of the questions with Samuel, he's a little bit smaller. So the question is, can he hold up outside against some of the bigger, stronger receivers in the NFL? This guy has the mindset of a cornerback. Take a listen to Asante Samuel. Oh, of course. I feel like I'm an outside guy. I've been playing outside all my life. I play um, nickels sometimes my sophomore, freshman year. But um, at the end of the day, I make my plays on the outside. And um, I feel like I'm a dominant corner on the outside. Um, they try to look at my height and um, say that things in that nature. But um, Jair, I'm the same size as Jair Alexander. Is he, um, he's a dominant NFL cornerback right now, um, one of the best in the league. So I feel like size doesn't matter. It's about the heart and the dog mentality you have on that field. All right, Tim, what do you like about Asante Samuel Jr.? What do you see when you look at him? I see a player that's very similar to Denzel Ward. I mean, not just size, but the way he moves. I actually have the stats on pro football focus that backs up him talking about why he believes he's a slot guy. He had about 500 snaps last season at Florida State. Only 15 of those in the slot for Asante Samuel Jr. So he's obviously got experience playing on that outside corner. I like his physicality. I don't know how it's going to translate, but it's clear he's got good ball skills. Quarterbacks, when they target him, a passer rating of a 46.2. Again, that's per PFF. He gave up one touchdown last season, three interceptions. For the Browns, he'd be an interesting fit because then you'd have two shorter corners. But I think with Samuel's ball skills and the way, how aggressive he is and just how fluid he is, I think you can get away with that. And you, when you have those skills, those intangibles as a corner, you can make up for being, you know, not as tall as a Patrick Sertan or a Caleb Farley.